Here lies an opportunity, vehicles plummeting in value here in 2024. So as you know, vehicles are not investments. No matter what, they will lose money, and these are prime examples. Number one, Hyundai Genesis. The Genesis is a two-door coupe and part of the Hyundai luxury line with prices rivaling Lexus and Acura, which you probably couldn't say a few years ago. But be warned, the Hyundai Genesis has a speedy depreciation of 38% of its retail value in the first year. It is recommended to buy this vehicle used as it will quickly lose value. And the Kia Cadenza is next. This is also part of Kia's line of pseudo-luxury vehicles. They are pretty nice. This larger sedan is a better choice when considered used, similar to the Genesis. It, too, will lose 38% of its value within the first year. Maserati Ghibli. Certain luxury vehicles also face similar issues with depreciation. The Ghibli, a sporty sedan from the Italian automaker Maserati, is a higher-end luxury vehicle. However, it comes with its own set of problems, including cheap bits, such as window controls. Over five years, the Ghibli will depreciate 56%. This is due to its lower end parts and reliability issues. It may be better to look elsewhere for a luxury car if you're looking to sell your ride later. The BMW 7 Series, not a good one, losing value quickly. With the luxury price tag comes top of the line features and the latest and greatest of car technology. However, this can also mean the car maker is continuously competing against itself. Something that is the case with the BMW 7 Series. The 7 Series drops in value as they continue to pump out cars that push the boundaries of today's technology. Over five years, the BMW 7 Series will depreciate by over 50%. The Ford Expedition. This large vehicle is one of Ford's best-selling SUVs and will rapidly depreciate in value over the length of five years. The Expedition may be great for carrying families, but it's not so awesome when it holds its value. Consumers can look to other SUVs that will take their money much further over the years. The average depreciation value of the Ford Expedition is 50.7% over five years. And lastly, the GMC Yukon, another large SUV. The Yukon is a reliable vehicle. This sturdy family vehicle is coveted by parents and busy kids. Unfortunately, it's also a gas guzzler. The Yukon has a first-year depreciation rate of 33%. Though reliable and perfect for transporting big families around, it will depreciate quickly because of its questionable gas mileage. Experts predict that despite inflation, new car prices will continue to fall later this year. Kelly Blue Book reported that in March of 2024, prices were down 5.5% from their peak in December of 2022, with manufacturer incentives the month prior averaging about $2,800. So here's the list of five SUVs slash crossovers to avoid here in 2024. Let's begin. Let's begin with the Mustang Mach-E. Yeah, it's an SUV. They made their foray into the land of EVs in 2019 with this vehicle. And if you can get over driving a Mustang that's actually an SUV slash crossover rather than a muscle car, sports car, you might wanna give it a second look, but you might do better to consider the Tesla Model Y, which has a longer track record, better technology across the board, and slightly more passenger and cargo space. Yep, Tesla has a better offer for you. Next up, we'll stick with Ford, the Escape Crossover, an affordable vehicle starting under 30 grand for the base model. But when you compare it to competitors like the Toyota RAV4, which is best in class, and Mazda CX-5, it doesn't seem to have a lot going for it. The RAV4 sports better performance, greater fuel efficiency, and more cargo space, making the Ford Escape something to leave in the dust. The Acura RDX, a luxury compact SUV. It's not a bad vehicle. It's just that the BMW X3 is so much better. Plus, it's roughly the same price, starting around $46,000. There really is no way Acura can challenge the BMW in terms of performance, nor build quality, onboard tech, safety, connectivity, you name it. BMW is a better vehicle than the Acura RDX, the X3 that is. And we'll go with the Ford Edge next on the list. Doesn't seem to have much of an edge in the midsize SUV market. Car and driver gave it a meager 6.5 out of 10, calling it outdated with mediocre fuel efficiency, for a four-cylinder SUV. You can get more for less money 
with a Telluride or a Palisade, basically the same vehicle, which both offer flexible third row seating. And one more here, the Jeep Grand Wagoneer. This is a pricey SUV, one of the priciest here on the list, ranging from 92 to 114 grand, yeah. For that price, you can get the luxury and prestige of a Range Rover, which is also available, and a plug-in hybrid. So go Range Rover over a Grand Wagoneer. If and when you are in the market for a new or used vehicle anytime soon, check out quotes.everymandriver.com. It's the best place you can go for insider access to dealer pricing, the lowest deals in your zip code from qualified dealerships. If you don't find what you're looking for in your zip code, simply change that zip code. Be willing to travel a few miles to save a few hundred, possibly a few thousand dollars on a new or used vehicle by visiting quotes.everymandriver.com. It's a free search engine. There's also a link below this video. If you are in the market for a new vehicle soon, great. Connect with your local dealership and price and test drive at least three different vehicles. A vehicle's strengths and weaknesses can only be discovered when you are behind the wheel. My reviews can be good, but you need to test drive these yourself. Visit quotes.everymandriver.com, select the make model in your zip code, and you'll get invoice pricing in your area on those vehicles. Shop smarter with price quotes at quotes.everymandriver.com. Thanks for watching. Please cl click subscribe and give us a thumbs up. See you next time.